All right, welcome back everyone. Now, let's take on the last Team Star Base. Beep curves. Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. We're the last battalion of the Team Star. Losing is an option. Hey kid, you listening? 30 Pokemon and 10 minutes will call the boss of the How's that for hospitality? Um, it's alright, I guess. Defeat 30 Pokemon, okay. Alright. Oh. There they go. Right, there we go. Now where is the other one? Ah, here we go. Now, where is... I guess that they're going to be across the stream. So, oh, hey, Gardevoir and Curlius. Wiggly to Oh my gosh, Wiggly Tough can fly. That is, that is the scariest thing I've seen. Oh, hey, it's a bunch of Mimikyu. Okay, now let's see. Are they down over there? Looks like it. Where are some more? Ah, oh, there they are. Oh, Florgus! How are you guys doing? Go! Five more! Come on, we can find them. Ah, we can get these spiders out of the way. Alright, Gardevoir, you take care of those. More Gardevoir, uh, no thank you. How about over here? Uh... Oh, those are those, uh, those are those, uh, things, those, uh, pink hammer, uh, Pokemon. <laughs> and now we got the boss. It's all up to the boss now, yeah, it's all up to this boss, Ortega. Alrighty. This is the last star mobile. Well, he's got a very snazzy design. I like that. He's he's very nicely dressed and he's got a cane, so that's nice. Oh, so you're Ryan. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Okay. All right, that's how it is. You are officially on the top of my crap list. I'm go. All right, that's it. You're going down now. I mean, it wasn't personal before, but now it's personal. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm gonna lose to you. You say that now. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nest. No, trust me. I know all about how deadly fairy types are. Wow, you got some nice Kang handling skills. Oh look, it's the Zoomeril. Alright, God of War. Let's see, what level are they? I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blumbering back home. Level 50, okay. Hmm, I wonder, they're special defense monsters, so... 
What if he does belly jump? Fudge. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance here. Yay! I managed to do it. Alright, so he fell asleep. Now if I switch to... Now I need to switch to you. And hopefully it stays asleep. Please stay asleep. Of course not. Can't get that lucky. Why? Dang it. Okay, well, uh, fudge. Let's just see how much a flower trick's gonna do. Okay, sweet. Clear off. Yep, well. Mess. Well, at least he can't do belly drum now. That's the main thing I was worried about. Oopsie, did you realize how outmatched you are? If you want to give up, now's the time. Uh, no, do you realize that you have one tap away from your Zoomerill before you're done? In fact, Ampros here can just quickly... In fact, I'm going to do a Cotton Guard. Because as I know, a Zoomerill is very physical. That doesn't matter because I'm not a physical attacker. So, uh, just discharge him. Wiggly Tough. I'll keep, I'll keep it in. Wiggly Tough should be a physical as well. Alright, Thunder Wave it. Good. Now, what's it gonna do? Play rough. That's fine. Huh. So that does right. I was wondering. When I do like Cotton Guard raises me up three stages instead of two. Did I get buffed or something? Interesting. Hey, Cotton Guard. Yep, I figured that was a crit. Alright. Discharge. One more discharge. What? Oh, I must have gotten a low damage roll. Well, you know what? How many Pokemon does he have left? A, few, a couple more. So, let me just play it safe here and use a Hyper Potion. Alrighty. Now I'm not scared of you anymore. Boom. 15 damage. Yay. Now, Electro Ball. Aw, crit when it didn't matter. Dash Bun. That's the thing that can't get uh, burned. Yep, that's the thing that can't get burned. But I'm pretty sure it can be paralyzed. How do I taste this slick move? Bet you can't handle my Pokemon's adorable strength. I guess say. You hit a that cane with some mastery. Yay, I did so. Dang it, the one time I didn't want status to proc. Oh well. Uh, I'd say how much Electro Ball is going to do. That does about a little less than half. Discharge. Oh, look at that. he's one tap of- oh, 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 yeah. Get paralyzed. Electro Ball, away! Alright, now we're at the Starmobile. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. Because I am just better at this. Oh, it did Fairy Terrain, and it did uh, Misty Terrain, okay, uh... Discharge all the way! Steel Roller. It destroys terrain. May uh, it destroys terrain, but uh... Did you see how much damage that did? That was pathetic. 
Okay. I'm going to keep using... Uh, oh, that's great. Anyway, I'm going to keep using Discharge because Electro Ball is not going to do much because it's faster than me. Now I just need to rely on Confusion not kidding me. Yay! Oh, no. I thought... Did three damage. It's fantastic. All right, Discharge. Magical Torque. Ah, right, come on. Fight through the confusion and for all... Wow. How come confusion never works for anyone but me? Every time. Every time I get confused twice in a row, but it doesn't work for them. Oh, well. I'm just going to play it safe and use a mass... Uh, not a mass potion. A uh, hyper potion. And discharge. And that is exactly what I was worried about right there. That thing right there. That's why I played safe. Speaking of which, another one! Now, it'd be only fair that if, it'd only be fair if I did not get confused this time around. Since I got confused twice in a row. Come on, Nantros! Yay! Gotta say two or three more and we are good! Hi, Ephros, you can do it! You got this, Ephros! Yes! I knew you wouldn't let me down! Ah, uh, yeah, definitely two more. Now, step out of your confusion, please! No, no, okay, no, I'm still confused. Okay, come on, Ephros! Three in a row, you got this, buddy! Yeah! Alright, now let's end this with style. Come on, Ephros! Four in a row! You can do it! You can do it, buddy! Yeah! And you are defeated! Are you seething in anger? Good, because that's how I felt with the last base. How could I lose? What the heck? Okay, now, let's piece it all together with this last bit of story. Oh, what the heck? Your, co your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Star Mobile, and I was up all night building it. Hmm, the problem's clearly that we aren't giving it enough juice. You're just, you designed this thing to be powered by two car cadet, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks of our ally, our, our roller's faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow, tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand, genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I would just ask Mother to buy a car for us. <laughs> See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mel Mila, cool it, you know. Could it would no? How about no? I mean, even if we put this in the, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Did you or did you forget? If that hangar truck doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crack up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's enough to say, Millie. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm going to train up my car cadet and have him evolve. Their boosted firepower will keep the star moving, star mobile moving, no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. We succeed in time. Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! You know, Melly shoots her mouth off at an awful lot, but she means well. I know. This sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us, if any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down, and going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. 
Yeah, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway, so take the badge ready. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. You know, I like this guy. This, this is guy literally giving us the death handshake. That's hilarious. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM2. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Thanks, if I already didn't have that. And just so you know, you are the worst, like, most annoying person ever. But I get it, you're super strong, I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Oh, Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my peeling, isn't it? As it happens, I just lost my boss house, so I'm all good to head on home. Um, actually, a different matter brought me. There's someone I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business? I wanted you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why did you join a group like Team Star? Well, what a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else on the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the academy really did use to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school's all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bully is back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to him? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of here are two unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students have been who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former, de my former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the ath aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. Uh, this student declared they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other members of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I signed 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. I see, so that's why all this is happening a year and a half over a year later. A year and a half of studying abroad. This is not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region. To the Galar region? From Sword and Shield? Then... Then do we know... Who from Sword and Shield? The way how we met the Mastermind before from the previous Pokemon games? Now I'm trying to think of every character from Sword and Shield and who could possibly fit this Mastermind. Under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former, the former Deputy Director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible! After we discovered what he'd done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a great blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in our notices. So that's why the current teacher all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you just suddenly decide to talk about this now? Oh, young, Mast uh, young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish you to give. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Now, after we've come this far, your friends in Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the world. <laughs> oh, 
All right, Cass, what do you got from us now? Ryan, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ortega's star badge? With its boss no longer around, yep, it's good as finished. So Ortega, so Ortega was last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should they should soon be back attending classes at the academy. Nice work out there, Ryan. Is that Clive here? Cass, well done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward, Ryan. I'll transfer some LP over the phone as promised. Nice. Oh, that reminds me. I've done... I'm doing the whole supply unit rep this uh, thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Ryan his bonus reward now. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. How, though? Don't worry. There's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is going to be me or Penny. Is none other than me. I freaking knew it. I shouldn't have doubted myself at the la after the fourth base, wondering with the way he was talking about it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I'm sorry. I didn't intend to keep it uh, from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. I'll be waiting for you at, in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So, Cass was the big boss of this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. But with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find out. Let's prepare our thing. So, is so I'm going to guess that Cass is a, going to be a pin or code name for Penny. And Penny is going to be the big boss after all. Alright, Star Fall Street. Okay, so we got the last bit of that, but you know, before we do the finales to that, I'd say let's go on, let's go and take on the next gym battle. Alright, we're here at the next gym, so let's get on with it. Oh, hey, Nimona, how you doing? Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers you take on the gyms get this far, you know. But I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. Thanks. Oh, please. I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym. Come on, you know the drill by now. Yay, we get to battle Nimona again. Here's our battle court for today. All right, here we go. Nimona, show me. Oh, a lightning rock, okay. Will do, Nimona, will do. Let's see, can I get away with a hypnosis? Ow. All right, Mascara. All right, let's see. Flower trick. And boom. That stung. But you're not the only one who can hit hard when it counts. That's 
Yeah, I know what's gonna happen next. Yep. Slagoo. Yes. Now I shall swap out to Meow uh, to a Gardevoir. Alright, Slagoo! Let's do a Calm Mind. Water Pulse. There you go. Training Kiss. Get my health back. Alright, and now another Water Pulse. Alright, one Dazzling Gleam, and you should be done. Pum oh, that's the electric thing, right? Yeah, I'll stay in. Get that thing. Let's do a Draining Kiss. Well, that figures. Alright, I should be able to take it. I should be able to take a hit, so drain kiss. Yep. Now as long as I don't get as long as, as, long as that doesn't happen. All right, max potion away. All right, so I should be able to take a hit. Now, as long as I don't get paralyzed again. Yay. Oh, a crit. That's actually nice. And back to full health. Nah. Alright. The water starter. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep Gardevoir in. Draining Kiss. Alrighty, so now she's gonna bring out pure water. Get ready, this move's gonna hit with the force of all my training. Oh boy. Aqua step. I should be able to survive. All right. So as long as I don't get paralyzed, Gardevoir should clean this up. Okay, good. Whew. I was a bit worried there. Back to 76. All right, Gardevoir is now level 48. I was, I knew I was right to believe in you. Well, thanks, Nimona. That's an L for me. Man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm-up. You and your Pokemon should all be set now. Here, take these as thanks for the battle. Nice. Just two gyms remaining. That's to be a champion. Give it your all. Now back to the gym lobby.
All right, time for the gym test. Warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. The opening act of what? Show us some dead fears and get the crowd excited for the gym concert begins. So I just gotta be the opening act to a concert. Okay, um, cool. Okay, right here, I guess. Yep, let's do this. Warm up the audience. All right, three double battles, okay. One and only Taz. Can you do that math? Yeah. I'm liking, I'm liking this, uh, environment here. Oh, that's such a smooth transition. Alright, so God of War. Let's go with a... God of War, I'd like to go with a Calm Mind. Amphros. Let's do Discharge. Let's do Electro. Let's do a Thunder Wave on Shuppet. I should do a max damage for Electro Ball. Ah, ah, nice. Let's see, Death and Gleam and Electro Ball. Well, that was easy. Ah, that didn't do much for a super effective hit. That did absolutely nothing. Oh, so the shearing has an effect of increasing my stats. That's cool. All right, draining kiss on graveyard and just do electro ball. One plus one is two, right? Right? Well, yes, yes it is. But not, but uh, you know, that math doesn't apply to double battles. Ah, oh, this again. Bunch of uh, there's a bunch of uh, evolved graveyards in the crowd there. All right. 
Let's see, what are you bringing to this? Haunter and Mystery Vis, okay. Alright, let's see. I'm just going to Dazzle and Gleam both of you and Discharge both of you. Oh, dang. Oh, that's why. I didn't do much. Alright, Afros. A triple knockout, I believe this is what it's called. Well, I got a triple knockout, so yeah. Oh! Alright, so you're excited. Me! <laughs> oh, that, that face, the face he just, that face is awesome. I caught, that face caught me off guard. Oh, that got me. That got me, that was pretty funny. Alright, being MC is, is my only for today. Alrighty. Tell me, what you got? Sableye and Oh, that's a monster right there, Triplum. Alright, uh, Dazzle Gleam and Electro Ball. Uh, just Discharge in general. Alright, Sableye, be done. Oh, that's not... No! No, you can't do that! It was you who slashed me up. Why would you ever self-destruct a triplum? That's the wrong way! Has reached a fever pitch. Thank you, right? Congratulations, you passed the trip. Give a round of applause, everybody. Ready for the main event. For in Mimsy of Rip Rhyme. So here's Rhyme. Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now I'll tell you this. Now I'll get this started for real. Um, you're uh, welcome. Okay, go ahead. Okay, cool. Yep, yep. Well, that was, an, that was an, I like the atmosphere. That was that one gym test was actually really nice. I like the uh, whole setup of that one. That atmosphere is really nice. Yes, I am. Yo yo. This is my time, and this is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Ryan. Your ratings here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Oh, they're doing a rap battle. Pro cashier. Well, I'm about to check out. Best to get your rhymes on deep disc. Ouch. Please, you think you can step up to my game, fool? I got rhyme right here in my name. Dang. Oh, she's just savage. 
I'm a spectator from which there is no protector, and victory unto me will win, your, win the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming, buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Ouch. I'm done, you won. My rhymes told Maybe after my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? Seriously? Bars over jokes? Come on. That was over way too fast. It gets boring where it gets boring wearing the crowd if no one can fight. Oh! Yep, there's me. I'm here for a gym battle. As if I even needed to ask. Don't try it with me. You won't last one round. I like safe light. Maybe me will lock you down. Uh, sure. I feel you. All right, let's get this started. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. All right. I like your microphone. Oh, so yep, so we do double battles all the way then. We, we double battle, don't let it scare you. Why would this scare me? Alright, and... Definitely going to paralyze that Mimikyu. And you too, student kid. <laughs> oh. Ah, yeah, that thing. Luckily, that's not enough to KO me. Unless they do that, but it's still not enough to KO me. Alright, that should take off his disguise. A super effective move, that's so tight. Accuracy rows and accuracy rows. We don't really need accuracy. I've got it. I'll become a pure fairy. That way they can't super effect hit, super effective me. And I will do a max potion on Gardevoir. There you go. That should take care of that little weakness. There we go. Now Gardevoir is pure fairy. No weakness to ghosts at all now. Probably should have done that first. Yeah! Can't do that anymore now, can ya? Now let's see how... Now let's see how much this will be. Alright, definitely took care of Bayonet. Houndstone, okay, that's that. That was the perfect timing to terrestrialize. Oh, attack, Rose, cool. My defense is nice. Special attack, Rose, okay, cool. So I, do I just get a, yeah, I just got a plus one stage to all my stats. Same with Ampharos. Alright, so we'll do a draining kiss on Houndstone. No, 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 let's do this. Draining kiss on Mimikyu. And we'll do a not on the wave. An electro ball on Houndstone. Good, okay, that gave me a good little chunk of HP. And MimQ is down for the count. Electro Ball! Yeah! 
Oh, great. Nat's immune until the next round. Toxicity. Okay, well. Woo, this is so exciting. We mean one. That's two down. Nice. Oh, so it's just plus one again? No, it's just attack and special attack. It's nice. All right, let's do Draining Kiss on... That's no, not very effective. Uh, well, better than nothing. Electro Ball. On Toxicity. Oh! I knew these would come into effect eventually. Ah, oh, he's just having a vibe. He's just vibing out there. Yeah, maybe now might not be the time to... Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it'd be better if you didn't do that. Wow. Oh, wow. That was, man, I have so much stats going on. It's insane. To one hit toxicity. I right, found force. That did not do much. Better throw a rat back at him. Okay, speed, Rose. Well, Dazzling Gleam and Electro Ball. That should do it. Alright, Houndstone is done. There we go. That marks us one gym badge richer. She just gives us a thumbs up. That's awesome. She just a sly thumbs up right there. That's nice. Great battle, chilling and thrilling. You got Spirit Kid, you've earned the gym badge, all right. How about a VIP pass for my next show too? I might consider that. Ah, oh, we're just enjoying the show. Oh, there's a guy making a heart, so... Uh, uh. With seven gym badges to be there, catch up to 55 and they'll listen to whatever you say. Oh, Shadow Ball, sweet! Alrighty, and that is the seventh gym down, which means there's only one gym left. Hey, Rika here, at your service. These gyms really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? Oh, no, you tell me yet. Is that your... This young man is Ryan. Even La Prima and say, oh, wow, wow. Team Poppy really strong. Like, really strong. Uh... I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more... Ma <laughs> Wait, what? No, 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 you're pulling my leg, right? No, are you just adorable? I know it's hard to believe, but this time little one is the one of the elite four? Was there no age requirement? What? Yes, I. How old are you? It's, uh, it's, it's where the, um, pinnacle, it's where the pinnacle Pokemon battling happens. See there. How? What? Uh, I'm, s I, I, uh, how? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need a moment from that. Uh, apparently that's a thing. She's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy, don't leave your Pelrica behind. That is 
Well, that's, uh, that's something. I'm shocked that the Elite Four has a toddler. Like, I thought that was a joke at first, but no, they're completely serious. They are completely serious. Oh boy. Well, you guys know what's next. When we come back, we are going to take on the last gym. I think that's the ice gym. I think so, yeah. It's the ice gym leader. It's somewhere around here in this area. Maybe a bit of searching later. Either way, thank you so much for watching. And uh, while I go process our newest Elite Four reveal, uh, yeah, I'm going to go process that. And I'll be back with the next part with the last gym.